and welcome to this video explaining how to get started with Time of Flight Ranging and Gesture Sensor STM32 Nucleo Expansion Board. This board is part of the STM32 Open Development Environment, a fast and affordable way to develop innovative devices and applications with ST components. Information on how to obtain the board can be found on www.st.com slash x-nucleo under the reference X-Nucleo 53L0A1. The board is built around the VL53L0X time of flight sensor. A four-digit display indicating the ranging distance or the gesture detected. Two connections to solder external satellites. A cover glass holder, a cover glass, and three spacers of different thicknesses. The board is equipped with an Arduino Uno R3 connector, allowing it to be plugged into an STM32 Nucleo development board. First, connect the STM32 Nucleo development board to a PC using a mini USB cable. The board is automatically detected and seen as a disk drive. Visit st.com and search for the keyword xnucleo 53 l 0 a one Click on the main part number link. Then, go to the Tools and Software section and click on the X-Cube link. Finally, go to the end of the page and click on the Download button in the Get Software section. When downloaded, just unzip the file in the folder you want. In the software package, you will find directories with all the required material. Now, let's try a sample application that allows ranging and gesture recognition. The firmware to be installed is called Gesture Detect and can be found in the Applications folder of the Projects directory, as shown here. Select the binary file corresponding to your STM32 Nucleo development board. Then, drag and drop it onto the Nucleo disk drive. Once the firmware is downloaded, the display indicates the distance in centimeters between your hand and the top of the VL53L0X sensor. Press the blue button on the expansion board once to switch to the tap gesture detection example. Another press of the blue button allows you to test the swipe gesture detection. Press the blue button again to come back to the ranging mode. In order to discriminate swipe gesture direction, you need to connect the two satellites to the expansion board. Using the same gesture detect code example, press the black reset button and then press the blue button for at least two seconds. The program will switch to the directional swipe mode. The display will indicate the direction of your swipe gesture. Ranging and gesture data can be logged on the PC in real time through a virtual COM port using a terminal application configured at 115,200 baud. A graphic user interface can also be displayed. Please refer to the user manual for the detailed installation procedure. A comprehensive set of documentation for the ranging and gesture sensor expansion board, including a user manual, application notes, quick start guide, and data sheet is also available. Visit www.st.com stm32ode.